Hi. Um, I'm here with uh, Elizabeth Showockert, who's uh, one of the artists uh, in the show Toward the Light uh, that starts on the 24th of uh, April. And we're very pleased to have her here as our guest to talk a little about herself and her art and how it relates to the theme of the show. So I'll turn it over to you. Well, thank you, Carl. I'm glad to be here. Um, I have been painting for quite some time and work primarily uh, within caustic medium. Um, art's always been kind of an important part of my life. Um, I'm not formally trained, however. I'm a business person to uh, pay the bills. So, uh, and I, um, I really only started painting seriously probably about four years ago. Um, and it was really uh, kind of uh, the catalyst for that was um, really uh, uh, my going through therapy for uh, childhood trauma. And um, the, the, my therapist had uh, recommended that I try to somehow um, access my memories. I had no memory of, of anything happening to me as a child. Um, so I started to draw. Uh, prior to that, I had always done mosaic. Uh, I, I had done mosaics, made mosaics for a, for a long time um, and had done other kinds of art forms, but I never really felt like I could paint because, I don't know, being painting and drawing to me is being a real artist. And um, I never felt like I had permission to do that since I really wasn't trained. My, my great aunt um, was part of the works project in the 30s and has uh, mm -hmm. murals in the Coit Tower in San Francisco and is quite a wonderful artist. And I was surrounded by artists as a child and have always really appreciated and loved the creative process. Um, but I always felt like I didn't really have permission to kind of really explore that side of myself but had a huge desire to do it. And so I, I started drawing, and um, I did a series of probably 70 drawings uh, over the course of about two years. Um, and it really just opened up the whole creative process for me, um, and I started to paint. And um, it allowed me to both facilitate the healing process, um, for uh, childhood sexual abuse that I had happened to me. Um, and it allowed me to uh, also develop um, a voice as, a, as an artist and a painter. And um, so in a strange way, uh, it, it's been a, well, it's been a real true valuable healing process for me to be able to, to utilize that as a way to access that, but um, it's also, uh, you know, it was a painful experience to have to to go through all that. It's a little bit disjointed, I guess, what I'm saying, but. No, <laughs> <laughs> okay, and um, talk, can you talk a little bit about how this healing, how art, how art empowers you in this healing process, you know, in terms of your own experiences, uh, you know, when you're looking at the, at the work you do, when you think about, you know, who's going to be viewing this and who you're communicating with and so forth. Sure. I mean, in the beginning, I think what, what it can do for, for people. And I think anybody, any individual is to provide a voice, especially I think, um, in my case, when I was so young and not being able to articulate and have words for things, um, you know, to access, you know, deep emotional um, experiences. And it allows for that to be able to be expressed in a way that doesn't have to be verbal. And I think that's a really powerful um, tool to use as artistic expression. And, you know, as I went through therapy, I mean, obviously my artwork has progressed and become more sophisticated in terms of the way that I use it. But today and the work that I have specifically in the show is more about 
um, putting a voice to the work in a, in a different way, um, you know, kind of trying to express the, uh, the experiences and feelings um, that a person has as they're transforming um, and that, that process of personal transformation. Most of my work has that sort of element in it um, as a common theme is, is, you know, transformation, either in a very sort of biomorphic way or in a more personal way. And the work that I have in the show has a lot of writing in it. So I've used, um, I use the work almost as a journaling process to be able to have sort of a free form journaling process to be able to express um, thoughts and feelings. And then I incorporated that into um, the, the visual form and pieces that are in the, the show. One last quick question. Uh, if you use encaustic medium, that's a pretty challenging medium, isn't it? Uh, it's a, well, I really, I really have a deep, uh, really deep love for encaustic. Um, for me personally, uh, when I first started painting, I, I primarily painted it in acrylic and, and oil paint. Um, but when I started painting with encaustic, it really gave me the ability to achieve a much more uh, rich and organic feel to the work, um, which I really like. I'm from Northern California, so I have a lot of a lot of my work has a lot of representation of water. Um, and I'm from very, there too, by the way. So. Oh, really? Oh, that's great. Yeah. So, um, so I've always wanted to be able to kind of have, you know, that to be able to really express that through my work, um, but. I, I enjoy the, the depth and the layering that you can really achieve with, with wax. And um, there's so much that you can do. The, the two pieces that I have are quite different, actually. One is a very sort of raw emotional expression that is very directly related to my um, childhood experiences, um, which is called Meet the Fear. And it's, it's not really a, a picture that's visually beautiful in any sense <laughs> at all. Um, the other one though, I think is a much more um, representative of my, the work that I do on a more regular basis that is, um, has a more visually appealing feel to it, but it sort of, and it has that feel of, of transformation and um, sort of that organic, uh, movement to it, which I think is very achievable with wax, and and one of the reasons yeah. I like that medium so much. Okay, well, great. Well, thank you very much. Um, you know.